Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tessa. I'm wearing a turtleneck today. So hopefully my double chin doesn't pop out, I shall. Today is part two, I just scratched myself, of the Instagram series. Today I'm gonna tell you guys how I made my first $200 on Instagram. This is gonna be now part two. So this is personally my personal story of how I made my first increment of $200. And this is also basically a tip on how to be an influencer no matter what size you are, like no matter how many how many people follow you, no matter how many followers you have, this is that video. If you've been wanting to learn how to do that or how that works, you've clicked the right video, so stay watching. First thing leading up to making that was I started taking Instagram seriously after this first video. Go ahead and click this if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, after I, that old whole thing happened, I started taking Instagram very, very, very seriously as far as treating it like a job kind of or like school, you know, that same concept. I started doing it on Instagram. Um, if you guys want more details about that, it's going to be later on in the series. So don't worry if you guys want a separate video, um, just comment below and I'll listen to you. <laughs> so, how I personally made my first $200 was a brand reached out to me and they wanted me to promo their, um, like I said, their brand. Now this happens often, as you guys know. You guys probably get little spam comments too, talking about, oh, DM us, um, and we wanna send you some stuff, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, those are sometimes, you, know, you just, like I said, stay tuned for the rest of the series. But um, the most important thing to like understand when this stuff is going down is the barter system. So the barter system is basically exchanging goods for services and vice versa. What your services as an Instagrammer, as someone who has a bunch of followers, and when I say a bunch of followers, take it lightly. Um, I don't mean 15,000 and 20,000 and 100,000. I literally mean whatever your following is. You are there for promoting to these people whatever you desire and if these people like you and trust your opinion and already kind of like learn from you <clears throat> excuse me I burped I have the potential to do this too so a brand reached out to me and at the time i had about ten thousand followers close to 10 to twelve thousand followers um however at this time i was a busy as far as online traffic for my page. What I mean by this is that even though I had 10,000 followers, I was doing numbers like as far as um, if you ever go on your insights for your Instagram, um, I was doing numbers and I'm talking about numbers, numbers. Numbers that people who get who have 100,000 followers get. But this specifically was like I said, a brand who was trying to grow. They started a whole store, an online store they were already willing to give me free product. Now, when a brand is already willing to give you free product, that means that they already have a, some type of system in place. Now, unless you know that there is something like very, very special about you or something that you've done recently, for example, like if you just recently uploaded a, a video on YouTube and that video did really, really well, like at random, like it was whatever it was, a viral video, whatever it is. If you do that recently and then you have brands hit you up, like you know why. It's because of that. If you get hit up and you know the brand like shouldn't really know you and you haven't really done anything to kind of stand, like do anything um, to kind of be out there, then you can kind of assume that they do this with everybody. But basically what happened was a brand reached out to me and they um, had very limited product. Like they were a clothing brand, but you can tell that there was something kind of like they're newer, they had a little bit of a following, but their numbers were just not good. Their branding was just not fully there yet. Um, they basically want me to pick out something from their website and uh, they'll go ahead and ship it to me and I could post it. So at the time, like I said, I was doing very, very high numbers. Luckily I had the help of a family friend and she let me know kind of about what, kind of about the range of like pricing. Um, so I did listen to her and I was blown away by the pricing that she recommended for me for based off my number. I should be charging $50 to $60 for story posts, 24 hours, $200 per feed post, and I should be charging $375 for like everything. I told them, hey, listen, it's gonna cost, they went with the feed posts for $200. I Once I received their shirt, I did let them know that I had it and I let them know, um, and I sent them a picture of what I was going to post. 
So then once that happened, I let them know that I will not, will not be posting until they make the payment. And then ultimately they paid it. So they paid, they made the payment of $200. Um, and then on top, they later went to go on and do a $40 story promo as well. So I ended up doing $240 for basically one set of pictures. <laughs> um, like I said, I was at 10K to 12K, so I did have swipe up links. So every time you start growing and every time you start leveling up, you're going to have new things that you can offer. So yeah, so that's basically how I made my first $200. Like of course, you're going to get no's. You're going to get rejected right they're gonna tell you that your price is too high people are gonna do those things because it's just it just is you know don't forget your own value and your own worth like the best thing to do is if you want to take stuff seriously start taking it seriously and just start working at it and start growing when you start growing it's gonna get harder and harder for people to say no I've had a lot of no's I am now a fashion Nova curve ambassador and a Nova babe I got left on red so many times first and I hope I was able to help you guys make some money on Instagram stay tuned for part three of this series um, which is gonna be me showing you guys how I made my first $300 on Instagram hope you guys have an amazing week amazing day amazing night amazing life uh, definitely make sure to go check out my weed tube if you're 420 friendly and 18 plus um, and definitely follow me on Instagram Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Snapchat, do all that good stuff. And yeah, like I said, you guys, I'll come back next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Love you guys so much. Damn, I'll make sure to buy my merch too on my website below. Contact me if you need anything Vegas. Contact me if you need anything photography-wise or videography-wise. Love you guys.